So I kind of want to give you guys an idea of what camp life's like here. Um, pretty much packing up. I've I've tagged out three hunters. I'm gonna be moving camp in the next couple days. Uh, just waiting on the plane to come get me. Um, so so kind of tidying up camp. But this this is basically what all of our camps look like. So you know this is obviously our our bear, a bear camp uh, on the Kivalina River. All of our camps are pretty much right on the river. Uh, the first morning I walked out of my tent, had an eight foot bear right here. Very first morning, five minutes of the hunt. Um, that usually happens the first day and then that doesn't happen again. But th this is what the camps look like. So today is an absolute gorgeous day. You might see some sunshine today. Um, so you're always charging your in reach. That's our only contact to, uh, anybody that can help us right there so that's got to stay charged up we're always charging the in reach typically all your clothes but i mean i'm pretty much packed up now but all your clothes would be hanging in these bushes here to dry because you get so many so few sunny days that your shit gets wet it stays wet all season um, and the season for the guides here is anywhere between, you know, 30 and 40 days. Uh, so, so once your shit gets wet, you know, you're, you're pretty well fucked. Um, unless you get some sun. So, so that's my tent. And then I've already broke down the client's tent, which would have been right there. So these are our two tents. Um, you know, I got my waders drying, uh, but, but this is kind of, what tent life looks like. So my pack will be right here, out of the rain, so I kinda get dressed right in here in the morning and get my shit ready. Uh, but this, this is tent life. You know, everything is laid out where you can see it. Uh, you know, easy to get to. Um, and when I say we've got pretty, you know, pretty, I don't want to call them rustic camps, but it, it's basically, you know, just the bare essentials. So, you know, if you come on a hunt with us here, you've obviously got this eight by eight tent, which is a beautiful tent. You got a cot and then, you know, <laughs> that's it. You, you know, when I say these are extreme hunts, I mean, you know, I'm going to be out here for probably 40 days. Um, all of the guides are out here for, for, you know, somewhere around 40 days. You know, try to get five clients a piece, something like that. Um, and this is what we have. You know, we got two tarps. And this is, this, is, this is our entire setup. This is what we have for 40 days. You got two tarps. I can never remember which one is filtered water and which one is straight river water. <laughs> so, but there you, you got your, we're getting water straight out of the river. You got one chair. You have all of your supplies to last you 40 days are going to be in this tote right here. Uh, you know, I've got one bowl. I've got a cup, toilet paper, coffee mug. Uh, these are mountain house breakfasts. And these are Mountain House dinners, which, you know, what these Mountain Houses are, that's Pad Thai chicken. That's actually one of my favorites. You just add hot water, boom, and that's your meal. So that's a month's worth of breakfast and dinners. That's our trash. Uh, this is what we have. We, you got one plate, one spatula, one frying pan, one coffee pot some soap, and some crystal light. That's our camps. You know, so uh, when I say it's extreme, you know, when you when you book a hunt out here, you, you know, it, it's an adventure. And you, when, when you get to the end of the season, it's a fucking gut check. It really is because it's fucking freezing. Your waders will be frozen. Your boots 
you have to pour hot water in them because you, you can't put your feet in them because they're so stiff. Um, it's a gut check, you know, so, so you need to, when you come out here, you need to be prepared and you need to know what you're getting yourself into because a lot of guys, uh, they have unrealistic expectations of what this hunt's all about and, you know, what they can withstand. Uh, uh, you know, especially later in the later in the season, the first couple weeks are good, but then it gets brutal, man. It absolutely is brutal out here, and and it's miserable. And every day is a gut check, and sometimes you just, you know, you gotta want to do it, you know. And 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 the guides out here really do. I mean, we we do this because we love it, you know. I mean, this is not a job for us. This is. I almost want to say a lifestyle. I mean, we get paid to do what we love, you know. Uh so that's pretty cool, but 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 it but it's a gut check and it's uh you know, you find out who you really are when when you get in these stressful uh miserable situations and uh either you like who you are, or you you find out you're not who you always thought you were going to be. Um but that's what it is. I just kind of wanted to show you what these camps are. Um, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ease down here to the river and see if I can catch a, uh, a char for breakfast. <laughs> 